Let's start with the vlogging Let's talk about fashion Contour and makeup You'll think it was beauty pageant But it's just true I'm not looking straight babe I'm looking oh, Okay, so you're gonna help me This one <laughs> Where is this button, Javi? There's no top button. Why do you want me to do it? Yeah. It's too much. I'm showing the rest, isn't it? <laughs> this button is too much. Yeah, I'm just gonna record this, isn't it? Yes, I am. It's footage. Yes. Okay. Am I already? Do I need lip gloss? Hmm? Do I need lip gloss? Let me see. There you go, just twist it. You should. Can you help me? Let's break it. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a bit of a different video. I'm doing a bit of a video that I haven't done in a long time. I'm kind of doing like a story. I talk with my hands so much, it's so bad. That anyway, but yeah, I'm doing a story time and I'm obviously drinking some Baileys or some ice. My favourite. I think Baileys is my favourite alcohol. Yeah, Baileys and cocktails are my favourite alcoholic drinks, so yeah, let me get a sip in. Oh, nice and healed. Anyway, if you're new here, make sure you guys go click the button and subscribe for more, for more content, you know. More. Yeah, let's get started. So basically, I don't know how to talk about story times, it's just so weird to me. But I'm just going to be talking about my situation, my past situationships that I've been through and how it's made me today. Like, I've been through my fair share of situationships. When I say, <laughs> when I say men are mad, as in men are mad and men have always been mad. But when you go to uni, you realise that they're madder. And you realise they have more mad powers inside of them. Honestly, because it's cr the, the craziness that I've been through, yeah. Is only good. So let me talk about one of my situationships here. Yeah, I remember one of my situationships. I'm gonna. By the way, all of these names are gonna be. They're not gonna be the real names. They're all gonna be fake names. I don't want no drama. This is just for entertainment purposes. This is also to help anyone else or any other young girls. Like this is not to cause up drama. So I don't want any of them back. I'm not thinking about any of them. I'm not. Nothing, nothing. This is just for entertainment purposes. You get me? This is just to have fun. I want to try something different on my channel. That being said, another sip. So basically, yeah. One of my situations, we're going to call him Todd. So this was like, let's say, this was my first year of uni. My first year of uni and I was chatting to some guy called Todd, yeah. And I remember we used to like, even how it started, yeah. I was like, I don't want anything serious. He was like, neither do I. And I was like, come, because you ain't getting nothing serious for me anyway. Like, I'm not on that. And he's like, yeah, cool. And then how come we start chilling after a few times? And he's like, oh, I know we said, like, we don't want anything serious. But I'm starting to, like, what would you do if, you, if I said I like you? And I was like, oh, you're just taking a piss. You're just, like, playing around. But at this moment, you know, like, girls, you know when, like, someone tells you, like, oh, I kind of like you. You start feeling like, okay. So I like him back. Like maybe there is something there if if he likes me. Like maybe there's a connection. Bearing in mind, when I say like we were chilling, we weren't like we didn't we weren't doing the nasty, like we weren't doing the hanky panky. We were just chilling. Do you get what I'm saying? Obviously a few a few pecks here and there. <laughs> a few pecks here and there. <laughs> I'm not trying to talk too loosely because my man's is right there. But anyway, obviously a few pecks here and there. Obviously, we were chilling, but, yeah, like, he's like, oh, I think I might like you. And I'm thinking, what? Like, where's this coming from? Like, I was like, you're taking the piss. Because, you know what, men are mad. You can say that two two days ago, you said you don't want anything serious. Now you're saying you like me. It was, obviously wasn't two days, but I was just like, what? Like, where's this coming from? It's cool now. We're talking. We're talking all the time. It's summer now. Um, we're going... I'm just remembering some dumb stuff. Anyway, so it's summer now and I go home and I'm thinking, okay, nothing of it. But tell me why we're still talking every single day. We're talking for time. Like when I say we're talking for time, I, I, I'm talking for time. 
like and i'm thinking okay maybe like something is here like maybe this guy is actually cool people so like, we get along ra ta ta red tear tear so like maybe it's that in corner my friend comes to visit me i don't want to say what friend because that might make it bait on what situation it is and i don't need that so my friend comes to visit me and like obviously i don't have as much time to like call him on facetime because obviously i'm with my friend so i'm making time for her so she's with me so i don't have enough time and then I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm, I'm liking the kid. Obviously, if we're talking every day, we're talking for hours. I'm, I like you, innit? I like you, you like me. Obviously, we haven't discussed like taking it further or anything because it wasn't like it wasn't a that. Like, no one discussed that. We were both like just, you know, it is what it is. I say I like, I say he likes me, but do you know what? Yeah, men are mad. They can say something and not actually like like you, so I don't know. But yeah, so cool. Yeah, like, I'm just like, um, messaging him as normal and he messages me out of the blue so random he's like i don't think we can do this anymore what <laughs> like we've been talking every day we've been on the phone every day and like what now my friends here you're saying that we can't do this okay where did that come from so i was like what like that's random he was like I don't even want to remember the. I want to see if I still have the cover on my on my messages. That would make it more juicy. Why did I deal with such hot boys? Craziness. Have you seen me? Have you seen the person I am? Like. So he says to me, um, so we're having a normal conversation. And he's like, I'll give you some space. And I was like, do you know what it is? I don't like forcing things or feeling dumb. So when I'm messaging you and I know you're awake and you've been retweeting, then you reply next day saying you're sleeping. It's like, okay then. And I was like, but yeah, space probably makes sense. Why does my man say, think it does? Just <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw something at me. <laughs> throw, throw, throw a brick at me because what do you mean you think it does? What do you mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that even mean? I think it does. So cool. The next day, like a, like, a, like a dickhead, I said, hey, what exactly did you mean by space? Like, not talk, like, not talk at all. Was this next day? Oh, no, but it wasn't next day. It was, like, two weeks after. It was, like, two weeks after. Okay, cool. I had some courage, and I let it go two weeks. I let it go two weeks. So I wasn't, like, an easy bird. It's like, he's indecisive. Don't know what I want when it comes to such certain situations or if I want to enter anything serious. Feel like I'm being pressured into it by people and it's not what I want. I'm like, you don't, like, what pressure is there? Like, we're both on the same page. We've both been doing this, like, on a cash thing and you know you want to come and say, like, you, you feel like there's pressure and, like, some, like, people are making feel somehow. It's like, where did that even come from? Anywho, yeah, I sent a whole long paragraph, like, don't tell people how you feel because when you tell people, they're going to catch feelings and I wasn't in that mind space. And yeah, that was dumb. And I remember that situation because my friend was still at my house. I remember feeling so sad. And I was like, oh my gosh, F this, F this guy. Actually, F this guy. And I remember I kept saying to her, which was, this is this is where I knew, yeah, okay, it's, go, it's, it's wrong. Because I kept saying, when we go back to uni, I'm going to see him. When I see him, I'm going to be like dressed like this. And I'm going to be dressed like that. And I'm going to be like, <laughs> And you know what, yeah, to be, to be even honest, yeah, this guy wasn't, he's not even a bad person. Any of the guys that I spoke to are not bad people, like, they're actually not bad people. I just think we were young, like, I don't think any of them really were bad people. So I was like, when I go back to uni, I'm gonna look so peng, he's gonna see me, and he's gonna, it's like, what, what, what am I doing? Like, why did I think that was gonna make me feel better about the situation? Oh, he sees me now, and he's like, oh yeah, I want you back. No, like, that's, that's dumb. That's very stupid and very dumb, and it didn't work in my favour, clearly, which I'm happy about because obviously he wasn't a person for me. Now, next situation ship I was in. <laughs> this next situation ship, yeah, it just don't make sense, like, Okay, so I was with this, like, guy, yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, I really fancy him, like, blah, 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 he's cute, and I was getting to know him. It wasn't the same dynamic of where it was like, okay, you're not the one that I want, blah, 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 because I feel like, with this situationship, yeah, this person is called Jeff Hardy. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, this person is called Jeff Hardy, yeah. And like, with this situation, it was so different because we were actually like, we actually liked each other. We both liked each other. We were both like friends. We were both playing. Like, it was both good vibes, yeah. Until I feel like this is, guys, I keep feeling, I feel like this is where it went wrong. I feel like when, when like we started spending so much time together, like, so much time to where I was neglecting my friends. I wasn't like my uni friends anyway. Like I wasn't seeing them as often. Like it was so bad. Like that's when I feel like it went wrong. I feel like we were too much in each other's faces. I feel like it like things just became like we weren't having conversations anymore. It wasn't anything called substance. And I felt like he got a bit comfortable, like too comfortable to where I feel like he thought, oh yeah, this is my like this is my person, I'm good. And I thought okay but you still kind of have to win me like i'm still a princess like i'm your person but like i'm your like princess too so you can still win me over and still make me feel like this type of person but i feel like he was i feel like like i said i feel like we were young all of these situationships that i was in i feel like we were young so jeff yeah um so i remember it was a couple months and i decided to say okay do you know what me and jeff like i can't handle this like I'm a princess. I'm used to be treated like a princess from my household. Like, my brothers spoil me. My mum spoils me. Everyone spoils me. So it's like, you can't now come and give me normal people, like, treatment. Because I'm a princess. I'm spoiled. And it's like, everyone kind of knows that from me when they see me. I'm not spoiled brat where it's like, I expect the best or I think I'm higher than you. But I just, I know my worth. Do you get what I'm saying? So it got to a point where it was like I couldn't handle this anymore. Like one time, yeah. I really hope the person I really hope if he watches this, I hope that you don't take offense because this is just good, good vibes, no bad vibes, like you're not a bad person. I just want to disclaim like disclaim with this. But one time, yeah, I was on my period. <laughs> one time I was on my period, yeah. And I was in so much pain, like so much pain, like I was dying, like so much pain. And tell me why, this guy, like, I think he's gonna go make me a hot water bottle. He goes to the kitchen, he makes himself egg. Like, he makes himself egg for my fridge, <laughs> my eggs, and he just makes himself egg, he makes some food, and he comes in. Bear in mind, I hadn't eaten yet. So he comes in, and he's eating egg, and I'm like, bruh, like, I'm dying on the floor in pain, and you can't even make me a hot water bottle. So he goes to get the hot water bottle now. I'm thinking, what kind of violation is this? I was like, this boy has to go home. There's no way he's staying around tonight and I'm gonna let him stay around when I'm in pain, dying. I was in pain, literally dying. And he's playing like some game on his phone. I wanted to flick that phone out of his hand so bad. I'd be like, are you crazy? Do you know who I am? And you're here on your phone whilst I'm in pain, not even rubbing my back, rubbing my stomach. <laughs> no, I was pissed. So he went home that night. And the next day, I'm still in pain, obviously period pains and he's like oh um what's the smell of your um air freshener that's the one message he sent me that day not even a are oh, you good how you feeling you still in pain man said what's the smell of the air freshener in your bathroom i said that's when i knew <laughs> you need to cut it like what sort of rubbish like do you guys see the violation like that's a bio so after that, I decided, yeah, like, I, I've had enough of this. This is way too much. Um, to be fair, he did, he did like, work hard to try, but it just wasn't working. It was one of those ones where it just wasn't working, so we had to end it. And um, this is where stupidness just comes in. Like, we had to end it now. And this is where a little bit you come in, babe. Just a little bit. This is, like, where you start to creep in. It's creepy. Creeping. So basically, um, whilst I was with that other guy, or like in a situation with the other guy, Bay, he he messages me on Snapchat and he's like, "Oh, you look nice," and I'm like, "Okay, thanks." Like, <laughs> all right, who are you? These times, he was known for dating someone else, in it. So I was like, to the side, I don't want you. Like, you're good. So cool now. He invites me to one of his events, like his he's his like ents, ents group are like having an event. So he's like, oh, you, you should come through with some of your girls in it for promos. I'm like, do you know what, yeah, I'm newly done with this boy. Like, let me go out, let me just go out. I wasn't thinking I was gonna bump into Bay and think, oh, this is the love of my life. So cool now, 
I go to this event now, and I see, I see Bay, but he's not registered in my mind. Like he's registered. I'm like, oh. I said to Blessing, I said, Blessing, is it real? This guy is, he's cute. He's really cute guy. Let's be like, yeah, he's nice. Huh? I was like, hmm, okay. But I wasn't in my head registering like, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be the one. I wasn't. I was just like, okay, I'm really single. I'm here to have fun. Call now. A little bit of drinks get in. Speaking of drinks. Call now. A little bit of drinks get in. I'm vibes in. And he doesn't pay me any attention, really and truly. Bay doesn't pay me any attention. So I'm like, I'm not trying to give a guy attention. That like, he's not trying to give me attention. Like, I'm not trying to do that. Been there, done that. I was like, whatever. So I'm dancing with my friend. And I get a message. Ding, ding. I said, who's messaging me? And tell me why it's the first guy, Todd, that I was, that my first situation, not my first situation, but the situation that I spoke about. He's like, you're a bit drunk. And I'm like, yo, like, what? Like, where are you? You're not even here. Long story short, tell me why I go back to Todd's. Like, what am I doing? I'm newly just done with this second situation with Jeff Hardy. And I'm going back to Todd when I know Todd is not going to take me seriously. And this is where I played myself, honestly. And this is one, one thing I want to say to you guys. Like, when a guy shows himself, take him for what he shows himself as. Don't think, oh, he's going to treat me different. Don't think, oh, I'm going to be different. Take him for what he shows himself because this is where I played myself. I was there thinking like, okay, maybe he's changed and he's ready to like take me seriously, but he wasn't. This is where like us ladies, we play ourselves and we think, okay, if this is the case, this is the case, blah, blah, blah. No, literally I should have taken it for what it was and I shouldn't have went back to his because I was a fool, really and truly. The guy didn't do anything wrong. He was straight up about how he felt. He was honest. And I was just thinking that, okay, maybe he means something else. Like, maybe there's something underlying. But there wasn't. There really wasn't. And I should have taken that. And I went back to his. And it was just like, just for him to be like, I hope you know, like, it's nothing between us. Obviously, it didn't go exactly like that. But I'm not going to tell you every detail for detail. Because obviously, these are real people. But yeah, like, it was just, I was just playing myself. Like, I was really playing myself. And these times, like, I had just met Bay. But I remember the next day, like, after I left that guy's house, um, Todd, you messaged me. Yep. He messaged me. He was like, oh, like, did you enjoy yourself? And I was like, yeah, it was all right. Like, it wasn't too bad. And I, I remember since that day, me and you spoken every day. Crazy. Very crazy. There was another situation before you, though. <laughs> yeah. there, was, there was a, a minor, minuscule, minuscule situation but that wasn't really a situation that was just fun and games really and truly it was fun and games but that one i don't need to talk about but yeah ladies i just want to say take every guy for what they are because sis we play ourselves way too much way too much even the second guy jeff hardy i remember i wrote him the longest paragraph how he doesn't show me how he feels and it's like you shouldn't have to tell a man how to treat you like he should show you because of how he feels like how much he feels for you and that's one thing like i've noticed like you don't have to tell a man how to act or how he should treat you if he feels sorry guys i feel like i should have had my brain like this this whole time anyway but if he feels like for you as much as he says like oh yeah i have feelings for you he will treat you the right way because I have been played, honey. I have been played. I have been played from the years 2016 all throughout the pin to like 2018 when I met you. Yeah, literally. Take every hint a guy shows you seriously. And please just like, I know we're going to learn things or we have to go through stuff in order to just like, like, learn. But there's some things we don't have to learn. Because I remember so many times like I was so sad and I just thought, Right, like, am I not good enough? But I am. And I was. I was just playing myself. Sometimes we have to take accountability as women. We have to take accountability. But anyway, that's enough rambling. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. I'm going to try and do some more story times. Try, you know, bring up some more funny times. Try show you guys more. You know, just a bit more. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe and like. And yeah, bye guys.